Now, I've already had a sneak peek, and this is phenomenal. So I'm not going to say any more. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. God has smiled on me. He has set me free. God has smiled on me. He's been good to me. Thank you, guys. I welcome you. Welcome to God's Remnant at God's Church of Love Online. And today we have a special treat. We're going to have Rashad Merritt bring the word. God bless you, Rashad. We have prayed, and whatever Rashad's ready to do now, he's got the floor while I mute the mic. And after the word is done, we will all open up our mics and fellowship and share. God bless you, Rashad. All right, everybody. So I'm going to talk about sin because that is something that God has put on my heart earlier this week. Um, and a quick side note, kind of testimony, um, the other day I was like thinking, like on my way to work, I started thinking about doing a sermon out of nowhere. And I started thinking like, hmm, I should start talking, I should talk about sin because sin is something that is everybody is dealing with. You know, we all are kind of falling short to the glory of God. We all are messing up and we're, you know, it's causing us to really live a miserable life. You know, in a sort of way. Um, so that same day, Pat called me, and it was like later on that night. Pat called me and said, "Hey, you should do a sermon on <laughs> yada yada yada. We should, you should do a sermon." And it was so crazy because the early that day, I was thinking about that. It was just a random thought, like out of nowhere. So that kind of was the confirmation from God to go ahead and you know just not so much you know try to read verse from verse and all of that, but kind of talk from my heart from the my own experiences and stuff I've been dealing with and the stuff I've been noticing that other people are dealing with as well and how God has been like opening my eyes up to that it's not just me and it's other people that are suffering and other people that are hurting as well and the enemy what he likes to do is he likes to use that and cause everybody to, to become enemies towards each other and become alone want to get by yourself because you want to you think that's for you're protecting yourself but you only harm yourself more and so I came across some Bible verses, you know, that God has led me to read. And But first, I'm going to give a, a definition of sin. And when I went online, I came across a definition. That definition was sin, a definition of sin, an immortal, immoral act considered to be a transgression against a divine law. So basically... Sin is basically sinning against a holy God. Um, and also, and that's what, that's what we come across the Bible verse that says that we fall short against the glory of God, short of the glory of God. And so I ask myself, why do we sin? And why do we, why do we sin and why do we choose to sin, pretty much? And I came across these three words. One is because of the lust, lust of the eyes. The other one is flesh, and then the last one is pride. And so we sin because of what we see, because of what we lust after. And we're carried away from our lust, through our lust. We're carried away to sin. And we, a lot of us don't really lean on to God. We don't really lean on to what God says and what, what he has put in stone for us to do and how we should live and how we should, you know, how we should look at sin, pretty much, how we should look at it and how we should treat it. And don't treat it like that's a crutch, like we should lean on to something that we think that's helping us. Like, for instance, you hurt inside. And a lot of us don't turn to God first. We turn to the sin. Why do we do that? Why do we turn to the sin? Why do we not choose to talk to God? 
all you have to do is take every single thing that you deal with, take it to God, tell him every single day what you are dealing with. He's there. He had his hand. He has his hand stretched out to you every single day. Ask him, tell me how you feel. Tell me what you're going through. Tell me what, is, what, what you want me to do for you. I'm here to serve you. God asks you every day. You, if you realize how easy it is to talk to him, don't go to, it's okay to go to someone, you know, get some type of help and, 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 you know, but don't let that be your first thing. Your first thing should do, you should do is drop down on your knees and call on God and ask him, tell him how you feel at that moment. No matter what the devil tries to tell you what to do, no matter what he tells you, he don't listen, he don't care. He's not listening to you. Those are lies from the pits of hell. And you, you rebuke that, rebuke that lie. Look at every negative thing that comes to your mind. Look at it as a lie from the pits of hell. From the pits of hell, excuse me. <laughs> Look at it as a lie from the pits of hell. Because it's only going to bring you down. It's only, it's only meant to bring you down. It's not meant, to, it's not meant to, to bring you closer to the light. It's not meant to, to uplift you or, you know, cause you to turn away. It's meant for you. Because actually when you reject the light, when you reject God, you actually turn into darkness. And you're only going to go further and further down into, the pits of, into that pit. And it's only because you're choosing to listen to the lie. And so what I'm here to tell you today is to stop listening to the lie. Stop turning to sin. Stop. It's so simple. Talk to him. Even when you feel like he don't hear you, he's not listening, that's when he's the closest to you. Even when you feel like you don't feel him, you don't see him, he's not there, I'm all alone, yada, yada, yada. I'm a victim. I'm alone. Everybody's doing this. No, everybody is hurting inside. They all are hurting inside. And the only way you can get that healing is through God. Of course, like the word says, humble yourself. Turn from your wicked ways. Seek God with your heart. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Even when you, you're tired of waiting, you're tired, you keep waiting. You keep going through it. You keep on going. You keep going through it. You keep getting back up and you keep walking. No matter what the enemy says, no matter how many times you fail for it, as long as you talk to God every day about it now, that don't mean just go and just keep doing it and then that's it. You talk to him every day. Tell him, I'm going through this, God. I don't know what, I don't know how to stop. I don't know what to do. Keep telling him that. Because when you stand in front of him on judgment day, you can tell him, God, I spoke with you every day. I told you. I told you what I was doing. I told you how much it hurt. He's not going to turn you away. He's going to welcome you. He's going to welcome you. I'm here. I'm, I, I'm going to heal you too. this day you're healed because I said you're healed and I set you free. Now, listen to that. Believe on that every day. Believe I am healed. I don't care what, what, what I'm feeling because it's not even your feelings. It's the enemy. It's principality. That's what we're wrestling with. It's not even your feelings. So that's how you should treat that. This isn't the truth. This is not how I'm really feeling. I'm not really feeling down. I'm not really feeling depressed. I'm not really feeling alone. This is the devil. This is him. These are demons that are talking to me right now, whispering this stuff into my ear. Now, all you have to do is, sh is shun him. Just like you shun God enough, you don't shun him. You don't shun the light enough. You, don't, you, don't want it, you wanted to believe the lie. You kept believing the lie every day. Why can't you some way? Why can't you one day believe the truth? Why not believe the truth? You don't believe the lie enough. Let's see what the truth gets you. Well, let's see what believing the truth. Let's see what that's going to do. You done did it. You done did. You done been there long enough. Okay, we get it. You're hurting. You're not a victim. Stand up. Put on the whole armor of God. And see what that gets you. Because the moment you keep believing lies, demons are around laughing at you. Ha, we got them. We got them. Ha, that's what we want. Yeah, stay by yourself. Stay alone. Keep hurting. Keep playing the victim. Yes, that's what we want you to be at. Stop listening to them. They're not your friends. Sin is not your friend. God is. Jesus is. Lean on him. I'm just going to leave. I'm just going to say this. Call on the Lord and wait on him and be of good courage. And he will strengthen your heart. And I hope that helps someone. Oh, oh my God. I wish. I had done that well on my first sermon. Whoa, thank you so much, Rashawn. 
That was beautifully done. You flowed. Thank you. Thank That's you. That's the heart. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, that was anointed. And let me tell you, you guys, that's exactly when he said the devil will manipulate your emotions and make you want to give up. That is no lie. I'm just, I'm just uh, dovetailing on what he said. I'm, I'm piggybacking because listen, many times, and Rashad, God. yeah, you and I are going to talk because this was. <laughs> listen, you guys, I want you to know. When you're going through struggles, it's not only the physical sins of sex and and uh, and um, cussing somebody out and stealing and murder and all that. It's also the emotional sins. Some of them are mental. God says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. But there are times when the heart is abundant with sin, but the mouth doesn't speak because we're putting forth that front. Well, let me tell you, there are times when God will show you, you are jealous of someone. You resent that one. You have not forgiven. He sees the heart while we're trying to make sure everybody sees the outward appearance. So just to let you know, even if your sin doesn't manifest physically, God knows it's in there. And if God knows it, he'll make you aware. And if you humble yourself, like Rashad said, and ask God to forgive you and forsake that and ask God to help you do so, you will always keep your spirit clear of all the demonic debris that they try to throw on you. And that's what you have to, that's where you have to guard your heart. 